my next guest, my next guest blows people's minds every time he, he speaks, every time he's around. He's that kind of person that when he's around, you know he's around. You feel he's around. You, you, you just, mm, I mean, look at This guy has done so much. When we talk about hip life in Ghana, it goes all the way back to him, man. And you may not know this, but I'm sure you do. He's my good man, my good brother, my younger brother, who's right here. Put your hands together. Show some love for Reggie Rockstone. <laughs> Yay. Massa. Joe. I call you. Charlie. I'm not your younger brother, by the way. You're my younger, younger no. brother, man. No, I'm not. I, I, by the way, be, you know, I, I never put that. I, I never have wine on the set. Today I have wine on the set because that, that I'm, I'm posting my younger brother here uh, at, the, at the nice tender age of 50. Thank you. He, he had his baby. On my 50th. He had his baby on his 50th birthday, yep. man. All right. So, two, two more that. babies? Or that's uh, it? That's entirely up to the sister. <laughs> Thank you, man. Welcome to the show, Reggie. Thank you. I haven't been here for... Yeah. God knows. Yeah. I used to live in the, the same neighborhood the building was in. Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. We... Beautiful set. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. What can we have? But Reggie, yeah. what's, what's that? So you had, you had a baby at 50 you're on, your, on your birthday? Well, it's Tell not me even, about that experience. It's not or... even so much about me being that grown. It's the, <laughs> <laughs> the divine intervention. You know, it's like, that has to be the greatest gift. Mm -hmm. You know, on your birthday, it's twice, happened twice. Really? Yeah, my other daughter, Suzu, on her birthday. Oh, she had it on her birthday? Yes. And, and you then had this mine one? on my birthday. Wow. So that's, that's God talking. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. It's my day. <laughs> yeah. But that's great. That's great. Thank you, sir. Let's talk about longevity, man. I mean, Reggie Rockstone, you've been, yes. you've been around, and they trace hip life to you? Tell me a little bit about that. It, they don't trace it to me. I'm the one that invented it. Oh, oh, oh. It says it on the t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> I wore oh. that. Yeah, I am hip life. You are hip life. Yes, I am. Um, well, you know, that's, that's my claim to fame. But um, you also knew my father, so you know the apple does not fall too far from the tree. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yes, hip life is. If I drop dead today, you're gonna remember me for having babies of fifty and hip life. <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily in the order. <laughs> You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what, what triggered, how did you get to hip life? What, 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 the creative process, man? Story, how was it born? The story is really short, but I'll make it long for TV. <laughs> um, you know, my, originally, I, I, I aspired to be an actor. You know, I went to drama school. Then, of course, with my father's backdrop, you know, my mother raised by two women, an Ashanti and an African-American. So I, I had information. Travel all over the world, fell in love with hip-hop. I'm doing the hip hop, hip hop all over in Nabruchi. And then finally, I'm like, uh, my Pan African roots kicked in. Mm. Sankofa, come mm. back home. Mm. I was blessed. I'm not like the other kids that was born in the Londons and Americas who, who couldn't speak their language. I was brought up knowing. When I speak Cree, I have no affection on my accent. Solid. Came home, I'm listening to the kids. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold up. That's hip hop. I know this very well. All right, so let's do it in Cree. Take it to the people. It was me and another brother, African-American brother called Rab, put it together, it caught on, it caught on. We stole the hip from hip hop and the life from high life. High life. Branding, straight. Hip -hop. The greatest brand ever. Hip life. Hip hop. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's the history. That's, well, that's how What was the first hip life tune? My first hip life tune was written on the plane on my way coming home. I originally came home for Panafest. That's why I came home, Panafest, yes. And so I wrote, True I already knew, you know, the, 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 the routine with, with us Africans. Call and response. True Bui. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I put it in there and um, came in. So if you listen to True Bui, I did two verses, but I repeated the first one. It was True Bui. I did the rap, then I did it again because I couldn't write no more. Mm. So mm. caught up and it kept moving. Yeah. An incredible story. Yeah. A journey. So, yeah. So, so looking at hip life today, and how far it's traveled, mm -hmm. what are your observations? Well, you know, when, when, when I start turning up in WikiLeaks, when Al Jazeera does like a, a whole show on me, and, and you know, Sock is making clothes now, Sock, I wear it. We're opening up clubs, 
the, the presidents are doing the Azuntu. I mean, come on. This is our time. Mm -hmm. Well, now is their time. I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's, it, it's just something that you have never had a movement, a youth oriented movement, this strong ever. Mm, that's true. The ever. Very Look, you cannot be, if you want to be the president of this country now, you got to deal with the youth. You'll be forced to do the Azuntu tour, or whatever they're doing. That's why I get mad when they don't pay homage to the youth. Because if you don't know your young country, you do not know your country, you know? When you say they don't pay homage? No, they do you... don't. Not a single president, and I say this on, on camera, I said it before, not a single president, president of Ghana has really paid homage to hip life. Not one. This is, a off, this is something that's created jobs, radio, everything. When you listen to radio now, what do you listen to? The Nigerians know it. They were so impressed with hip life. They took the Azon to a name that I lingo. Yeah. Piece of Batman Samini. He's the only one that spoke up. But that's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not blaming that. That's our neighbors there. That's cool. All I'm saying is this is the, it's a very powerful movement. If you don't know your, your, your youth, you really don't know your country. Because it's all the kids that's listening to this, this form of music now, doing the Azonto and everything, that's your next cabinet, your next ministers, that all of them, they're the Azonto generation. The Azonto generation. It's taking over. And hip life is the tree. Azonto is just a branch. Yeah. yeah. You know? So they get, they're becoming an entrepreneurs. I mean, look at this book. A whole book written yeah. on hip life. Yeah. Living the hip life. Yeah, yeah. I was going to By show Jesse that. Shipley. I was going to show that. It's a whole book. It's called Red Living the, the Hip, hip Life. life. Yeah. Celebrity reader of the front. I mean, with the entrepreneurship. Celebrity and entre entrepreneurship in Ghana. Thank in you. Ghanaian popular, popular music. Popular music. You know, and um, I, I travel all over the world. You know, Jesse Shipley wrote, I, I, do, I give speeches, and, and they're like, wow. Because unlike Grandmaster Flash, and the Furious Five, you know, your people, your age, <laughs> you know, we are still in the trenches. I'm still, I'm still coming, I'm on your show right now talking about hip life. Yeah. So it has to be strong, you know, so. Show some love, man. Show some love. Show some love. Show some love. Now, 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 you were talking about the youth. Yes. Outside of the uh, Azonto, should I call it a revolution? Revolution. Yeah. What else, what, what has this like sort of uh, triggered into other aspects of youth power, if you will call it that? Yes. Or youth development? Yes. What, 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 what can you link to this hip life Azonto? Everything. I usually, I, I check out the general attitude of young folks. Now everybody wants to do something. Yeah. The kid that um, maybe perhaps, you know, it's like the football syndrome. When you was playing football barefoot, they were told you about, oh, go to school, go to school. It's cool to get an education, but Michael H. will always be Michael H. And, and whoever else. So if you do not inspire the young folks or identify their talent, we can have 100 doctors and lawyers, please. Save it. We had the Jackson Five, though. Michael Jackson's father, they, they seen him. They was like, okay. You know, so please be be easy with you know. Now look, I mean, Sarkozy is making clothes, the sneakers. You know, I put them in my club. I got his whole logo. Entrepreneurship. Even at my age, in my retirement plan, I took took a little money from endorsements. You know, when you're going old, they try to sign you off. <laughs> but I opened Rockstone's office, Grandpapa's. You know, keep it moving. So yes, I see a lot. You know, the, all the kids. You talk to them, they want to be somebody. Mm -hmm. You know. The other kid that perhaps would have been an uh, armed robber now, he wants to go in the studio and record and be, you know, it's, it's the best thing since Powder Fufu, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody likes Powder Fufu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah. I'm really, um, I'm not political, but I am by my own right. But say, say, say you had a chance to talk to the president, anybody, what exactly? Call him right now, or call whoever right yeah. now. I'll tell him exactly yeah, what I tell they're them. They're listening. Tell them. S just acknowledge it. Acknowledge Let, it. Yes. An official acknowledgement and say, I respect you young folks, what you have done, what you're doing, and everything that more to come. Let me support that. Because I remember when Clinton went on our senior hall show, Jay-Z had a lot to do with Obama, Obama's uh, and Ludacris. You, you know what I'm saying? He identified it. I'm not faulting them. I'm just saying I'm pulling his coat. Say, these kids, and they respect you. You know what I mean? Just acknowledge them. It will empower them. If it wasn't for hip life, you wouldn't have Jay-Z and all of them coming here. It's changed. I got dreadlocks and I'm on billboards. Our mindsets have changed. Before, if you had dreads, you could not be in nowhere. Mm -hmm. We've just really evolved. 
these are the good times. And of course, when a nation is dancing, it means the nation is happy. Yeah. Regardless of our issues. We talk, talk, talk. I'll soon throw it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, that means a lot. That, that means, means a, lot, a lot. That means a lot. It's, yeah. it's, it's something, I mean, by observation. And not only dancing in Ghana, no. but yeah. dancing causing ripples. Thank you. Globally. Flowing. Yeah. Worldwide. I mean, Azonto is like running on yeah. YouTube like yeah. crazy. Yeah. Own it. You didn't. That's why when Nigerians, you know, uh, Ghanaians get mad at Nigerians, I'm like, you don't, you don't know. They, 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 they're not new to this. They come from fella. Mm -hmm. They've been rich musically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they are our neighbors. I believe in one Africa. Whoever takes it and runs with it, that's what it is. Don't be mad because you got idols sitting on yours. Somebody took it, you know? Yeah. Claim it, own it. And me, hip life, I wear the t-shirt everywhere I go. You know, I'm very proud. You are hip life. I am hip life. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, let's, let's get a little personal before you. Before personal you is yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, what, what do you do to, to relax away from, is there anything like away from music? I, I used to um, just lay in bed and, and just give orders because I'm the boss, <laughs> you know, and, and do my PlayStation or talk to my little brother, Keita, you know, I got to make the family keep, you know, keep it moving. But now I have no relaxing time. Really? As I'm getting older, the getting more the job's yet. coming. I'm the new ju judge for X Factor. So I live between Nigeria and Ghana. Oh, it's, it's shot in Nigeria? It's shot in Nigeria. Oh, okay, okay. And, and wherever else they tell me to go, <laughs> I'll go. You know, so that's heavy. I got the family. I got the reality show that's based on the renovation of Rockstone's office. That, that's called on, it's called Rockstone's office, Born Again. So between running the clubs, I, you know what? The, the word relax is not in my name anymore. Yeah, you, you're uh, getting busier. Busier. You, yeah. I got two weddings to go to when I leave here. <laughs> and if you don't, it's family. By the way, big up to Victoria Mack and my brother Danny Dama. It's proof. They think I'm boycotting, but they will see me on this show and know why I was late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell a live vision, the best, the best evidence. <laughs> you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So things are getting better as you... The banks is recognizing me. The money got better, mm. you know. And that's the for, important thing. Not for me, no. No? I've, no. I've, I've, I've always been like, you know, whatever comes. I'm awesome. So, but now I can afford not to um, jump in a taxi and have my driver drive me to your show. <laughs> it's cool. That's right. That's Sub, right. Southern <laughs> <Coast>. <laughs> You know. Yeah. But um, yeah. If my father was here, he'd be really proud of me. He would be. He would be. He is proud of me. He is know? proud of you because I remember him yes. talking to me and, and about uh, his son. About his son, and yep. he was talking about um, change your beard. Change your beard. Yeah, 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 Keep yeah, your yeah. eyes on the road. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, may he rest in peace. Elijah Kid from Pong. Uh, but he also paid homage to hip life. Well, I paid homage to hip life through him because if I had never made that song, keep your eyes on the road. A lot of younger kids didn't even know that song. That's the song that bridged the gap between the old and the young. That's when hip life really arrived. Mm -hmm. The plant band pop, hip hop, and that was cool. Mm -hmm. They was like, ah, what's the same, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But then when I dropped Keep Your Eyes on the Road, the older folks knew it, and the younger folks were like, yo, this is nice. <laughs> Funny thing is, the lyrics was in English. Exports. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Got to cross over. <laughs> so, in as much as I don't plan my life, God puts it in for me. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Cool, man. Cool. So, um, now you're doing X Factor. You yes. You're doing Glow? Well, you know, Glow pays the bills without Glow. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, that's why Glow loves me, because I never lie about it. If Glow had never gave me the money, I wouldn't have got nothing. <laughs> not waiting on you guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Glow gave me the money and I ran with it. Yeah. You know, and it just kept moving. So, like I said, I'm a hustler. I got hustler genes in me. My father was a hustler. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Survive. Make sure the family's good. Yeah. Music-wise, are you dropping anything? Um, I'm not inspired. Busy, I'm, yeah, I'm not really inspired right now. Yeah. You know, the likes of Mansa. Every time I come on your show, I speak about Mansa. The, Mans the Mansas and uh, those are the ones that sparked me up. You know, Sarkodier, he sparks me, my son D Black, you know. Everybody's doing good, but um, 
I need to be inspired before I write. I never had reason to write, because I never made music for money. You gotta understand that. It was just something that I knew. And so, if I'm not inspired, when you be become a country? Mm -hmm. Until I feel inspired. So the last song I made was, oh, I had my down for power. I expressed it and kept it, and that's it. So, you know, if, I, if, I, if you inspire me, another album. I, I have to find off. some time to inspire you, man, so. I don't see him anywhere but on his show. <laughs> <laughs> I, was at, I was at the office. Yeah, I was so, so shocked that he turned up. At the opening, when I opened Rockstone's office, he yeah, turned up. Yeah, yeah. It was a pr I felt that. That was yeah. good. And, uh, That's uh, why sure. when he calls me, I got two weddings. I said, wait, KS Samson Mamra. And I will come and sit, you know. I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid. Yep. Yeah. Reggie, that's, that's good. Your, your final, final, final. A word. I, I, I like the, your, your, your passion for the youth. Thank you. And how there the, 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 the should be recognition. Yes. Your last words on that and to them. Well, you know, I always say this. It's never my last words till, till you hear that I got buried and uh, you yeah. came and drank gold at my funeral. You know what I mean? Or Guinness or whatever. Listen, it's one thing. I'm Pan-African to the bone. Whatever you do, do it. And it's not a commercial for Nike. Just, <laughs> just do, do it. it. That's it. For now. Whatever you do. Just do just it. Just do it. Yeah. Reggie. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Thanks for hanging yo. out. Stick around, folks. There's more to come. We'll be right back. Thank you.